Hey everyone, I'm Cody Knight, and today we will be exploring Pages on the iPad. It is a digital tool that can be used to create a variety of assignments. So let's get started using the Pages app on our iPad. The first thing I need to do is locate the app. It is the orange square with the white pencil and line. From here, it'll show me all of the pages that I've created on this iPad. As you can see, there aren't any created documents yet. Therefore, we are going to create our first document together. To do this, I simply press on the orange plus sign where it says Create Document. From here, there are many templates to choose from. You can create a report using an essay format that is already laid out for you. You can create books, both landscape and portrait, or you can use visuals to create flyers and posters or newsletters. For this demonstration, we're just going to use the blank landscape template. Here I can begin typing. For this assignment, I'm going to pretend that I have to write a letter to my teacher. So I'm going to begin with, Dear Teacher. From here, I might want to customize my assignment to meet the requirements and also to make it look the way that I want to. For this, we're going to focus on three of the five tools in the top right corner of your screen. We're going to look at the paintbrush, the plus sign, and the circle with the three dots inside. The first tool is the paintbrush. This is how we customize what we've done. So if I want to change my text here where it says, Dear Teacher, I'm going to double tap it and drag my blue line so that it is all highlighted. From here, I can press the paintbrush. It will allow me to adjust the font to either be bold, italicized, underlined. I also can change the font size, making it larger or smaller, depending on what I'm trying to do. When I'm done with that, I simply just tap off of the box. The other thing I might want to use is the plus sign. The plus sign is how you add things to your assignment. I can add photos, videos, or something from my camera roll. Another neat tool is the drawing. If you press drawing, you'll be prompted to draw something using one of the pencil tools at the bottom. After you draw the, what you want to, you'll simply hit done in the top right screen. It'll insert it into your assignment as a photo, and I can drag it wherever I want to. The last tool that is very helpful is the circle with the three dots inside. When I press it, I'll be able to share my assignment with my teacher. By pressing share, I can choose where it goes. I can share it through email, through the Google Drive, or through learning management systems such as Google Classroom or Seesaw. When I'm finished with this, I can simply tap off. If I want to go back and look at my other documents, on the top left, I can press Documents. Anything you create will automatically save, so there's no need to press the Save button. You can return to them as often as you need. So again, that is how you can use Pages to help you with your assignments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out our other resources.